I wash my makeup off with this soap. She did not. I, I'm at a loss for words. Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. When I was filming a video before this one, I was being, you know, extra gay and flinging my hands around everywhere and I cut myself and it hurts like a bitch. It is time yet again for another TikTok reaction video because your guys' response to my last TikTok video was absolutely insane. Two million views. You guys are nuts. You guys are amazing. And I figured why not do it again? But this time with a twist, skincare TikTok fails. If you watched the last video, there were a few different clips where people were doing like fail, peel off face masks and different things like that. And I thought it would be fun to solely react to the skincare fails on TikTok. Now, how did I come across some of these? Because you guys are freaking amazing and were tagging me in so many different posts. And I want to thank you for that. If you haven't followed me on TikTok yet, bitch. Skin.care.by.hyra. Another reason you should follow me is because in an upcoming video I want to react to your guys's skincare TikToks. I think it would be so much fun if you guys were to tag me in your skincare routines that you create on TikToks, like whether you're doing your routine or talking about skincare tips or trying to like get my opinion on something skincare related. It'd be so cool if you followed me, tagged me, that way I can react to it in my next video. But yeah, let's get into these skincare TikTok fails. I have a feeling I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Rest in peace, Hiram. If you don't know me, I am a skincare specialist, meaning that I work in the industry. Specialist is the official title of my position at the skincare company where I work for, where I facilitate ingredient and product training. I'm not, however, a licensed esthetician or dermatologist, nor do I ever, ever, ever claim to know more than either of them. If you do have any skin concerns, please go to either your esthetician or dermatologist to treat that. This is all just for entertainment and information's sake. So I'll let you guys know, I had my roommate go through TikTok on my phone and screen record all of these videos so that I would have have no idea what they are because I feel like some of these are going to be scarred into my mental memory for you know all of time because trauma oh god I'm so nervous like honestly my heart is pounding a little bit because I'm so nervous that these people are gonna fuck up their skin oh my god okay I'm gonna will through the rest of this video Okay, she doesn't even go in with a moisturizer at the end. <gasps> that was a lot at once. Um, I know you guys probably think I'm being dramatic. Let me start into my rant, why? <laughs> so if you don't know what that was on her face, that was a coffee scrub. If I could just like banish one thing from existence, if I could be like Thanos, one of my things that I would banish right away would be coffee scrubs. Particularly, I've always disliked scrubs because I think they're just way too harsh on the skin and you can easily overly irritate and damage your skin by pressing too hard. But some scrubs are better than others because for example, if you use a sugar scrub, when you combine sugar with water, it's broken down by the water. So you have a limitation as to how much damage you can inflict on your skin. But coffee is particularly damaging because coffee shards are not equal in their size. So certain ones will be more pointier and sharper than the others. In addition, coffee grounds cannot be broken up by water. So when you are scrubbing your face, you don't know which specific shards are being punctured into the skin too deeply and the longer you scrub your skin the worse and worse you get regardless of whether you're scrubbing with water or without water it's bad and first of all it looks like she is not scrubbing with a lot of water which is automatically so scary look at the redness under her skin hell no and then after the scrub she goes in with the aztec face mask. The thing is with the Aztec face mask, like I've used it before. It's really good for getting everything out of your skin, but that's also the problem. It literally gets rid of everything in your skin. Like it sucks out all the moisture. And whenever I've used that mask in the past, it takes a good 30 minutes to an hour for the inflammation in my skin to calm down. So to first go in with a coffee scrub and then follow up the Aztec mask and then to have the audacity to not follow up with a moisturizer afterwards is like, you poor thing. I don't know. I don't know who taught you this. I don't know who gave you these things, but you need to cut that friend out of your life pronto. Instead of a physical exfoliant, instead of a scrub, I would always recommend a chemical exfoliant. It sounds scarier, but chemical exfoliants are way better for the skin. They're more gentle. They're more effective. They get rid of a lot of other issues without the potential sensitivity. One of my favorites right here, the exfoliant from Crave Beauty. It's formulated with glycolic acid an amazing ingredient for just going deep into the skin and getting rid of all the dead skin cells, but in such a way that doesn't cause any redness or sensitivity, highly recommend that one instead. Up, it's me, Caroline. Everyone always asks me for like some kind of skincare routine. Cause it all wants us clear. She's so cute. Oh my God, I love her hair. 
I love her brows. I love her blush. She literally looks like a more mature version of what's the girl character from Wreck-It Ralph. Whatever her name is. She's so freaking cute. I wanted this. Oh my god. Ugh, I just... Makeup wipes, man. Fuck makeup wipes. They need to just die already. Just go away. If you don't know my stance on makeup wipes, I'm personally just not a fan of them. I feel like they can be overly stripping to the skin. It's way better to go in with a double cleanse system. Start off with a makeup removing balm, a cleansing oil, a micellar water, break up and get rid of all the makeup on your face, and then follow up with a gentle face cleanser. The other thing about makeup wipes is that they cause you to just rub at your skin so intensely. I cringed when she was rubbing on her eyes. Please do not use it on your eyes. You are tugging so much at it, trying to get rid of the product on your skin. And that could just cause a lot of irritation. And it's just not good to be tugging at your eyes that intensely. And in addition to that, they're also terrible for the environment. They can't be recycled. They just pile up in landfills or in the ocean. And considering that you use like one to two wipes every single day. Just think of how much waste that's creating. Just please go in with cleansing oil or micellar water instead. One that I've been loving is a Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Water. It's so good for removing makeup and dirt and oil from the face as a good first cleanse system before you follow up with a regular face cleanser. If you want a really good cheap one, the one right here behind me, Simple Micellar Gel Wash. So good, love that one. For all these products that I'm recommending, I will have the links in the description box below. If you guys do want to support me and my channel, I make a small commission off those purchases. So if you feel like shopping, feel free to use those links. Thank you guys. Oh, she's cute as a button. Like I think she is adorable, but I think that is not adorable. That habit needs to change. Let me set you up with a good double cleanse system, girl. Oh, I love her hair. I want blue hair so badly. Have you guys seen merman hair? You have no idea for how long, how much I have wanted merman hair. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below if I should dye my hair blue because I would love to. Okay, so she's really cute, but I am cringing a little at that skincare routine. I'm almost getting like a show-off vibe. All of the products that she uses are La Mer. If you aren't familiar with La Mer, it is one of the most expensive luxury skincare brands. I'm not talking like Sephora luxury. I'm talking like $500 to $2,000 per product. It's ridiculously expensive. And I've made a video on La Mer in the past. If you wanna watch it, link in the description box. It is literally glorifying the most basic ass skincare ingredients and it's just not worth it. And so many people are like, oh my God, but La Mer is so amazing. La Mer is the only thing that works. It's because you haven't done enough searching of the really good, affordable, effective products that'll literally do the same or even better than a La Mer product will. But I'm a little bit turned off by this TikTok because like that entire skincare routine is a good $2,000, I would say. Maybe more than that, $2,000 to $3,000. And the fact that every single product she uses is La Mer, like that is really extra. And the only people I know who do that are like, Either the people who sell La Mer or the people that are so caught up in a luxury lifestyle that in order to prove a point to other people, they use all La Mer products to be able to say, <laughs> I'm super rich and super fancy. My skin's amazing. Girl, you are literally pouring your money down a drain. But love the hair. Hey guys, so my mom makes this um, Nivea cream that it works for your acne and stuff. And I'm going to teach you. <laughs> she adds stuff to it, which is crazy. She adds like a couple of stuff into it and it actually works. So I'm going to teach you how to make it. So pretty much she gets these um vitamin E like tablets or whatever. She cuts them, which I can show the scissors by the way. And then she pours them in the lotion and then she mixes it. So you're going to add you're going to add 50 of those and then once you add the 50, you're going to add some almond oil and boom, that removes all your acne and you welcome. Okay, um you know that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um personally I actually don't really have a problem with that product because the two things that they added to the Nivea cream. So first of all, Nivea cream, ultra moisturizing, ultra hydrating cream, definitely more better for dry skin, I would say. But then they go in with vitamin E, which vitamin E has a lot of benefits for the skin. It can be a little bit sensitizing, but overall I think it's a good ingredient for skincare. And then they follow up with sweet almond oil, which is one of my favorite oils in a skincare product. And I'm so happy to actually see that because most of the time DIY skincare is the bane of my existence. Literally, I hate 
DIY skincare. I usually use a ton of fragrant essential oils that are only gonna irritate your skin at way too high of concentrations. It's just a whole ass mess. This one's pretty good because I like the ingredients. The only thing I will say, I don't know if it would be really effective at getting rid of acne. Vitamin E can help with that, but mixing vitamin E oil, which is known for being a more heavy oil, along with sweet almond oil, also a really hydrating oil, with the very heavy Nivea cream, that is a lot of moisture. Like to the point where I feel like a lot of people struggling with acne on their skin could have blocked pores from using that. So I would say if you do have more dry skin, definitely not a bad thing to go in with. If you have more oily skin, I wouldn't recommend that. I think it'll be a little bit too heavy. Oh my gosh, her lips and her hair, obsessed. She looks like a doll, I love it. Makeup wipes, really? I thought we were past this. Wait a second, where's the moisturizer? Did I miss the moisturizer? Oh boy, okay, well, oh boy. Um, well, she goes in with Cetaphil cleanser, which is not the worst thing in the world, but it can be overly stripping to her face. And then she follows up with witch hazel, which is another very stripping ingredient. If you aren't compensating with a lot of really hydrating products, it's definitely gonna overly strip your skin. And then she follows up with a rose water spray. Rose water is okay, I mean, it is hydrating, but it doesn't have like amazing results in my opinion. But then she doesn't follow up with a moisturizer. The moisturizer is one of the most important steps of the skincare routine. I don't, I don't know what happened. My guess is that she probably has really oily skin and she's thinking, I don't need a moisturizer because I'm already using enough hydrating products. But the problem is, is that the majority of the products she uses are stripping to the face. And what's probably happening is that her skin isn't getting enough hydration. So what it's doing instead is producing a ton of oil to compensate and try to protect the skin. So yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was a hot mess. My recommendation, follow up with a good moisturizer, the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. Really good option, super cheap. You can literally find it everywhere. Highly recommend that one instead of nothing like what she's doing right now. I'm so tired. Fuck. But that I would take advantage of this moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so y'all been asking me for my skincare routine. <laughs> well, I'ma show ya. <laughs> Just be ready to have a heart attack. Bitch, what lace? So I washed my makeup off with no. this show. You heard right. She did this not. Show. This show. Are you kidding me? This this can't be real. I, I need to keep watching. This can't be real. I take Vaseline and get the excess makeup off my eyes. Vaseline lotion. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I literally don't even know what to say. Dish soap to remove makeup. Okay, well, um, not the best option, I would say. <laughs> I mean, I have heard of this before. I remember seeing a tweet where some girl was saying that her boyfriend used a dish soap to clean his face and she asked him why and he said, well, if it's safe enough to use for baby ducks, then it's safe enough for my skin. And I was like, point taken. But still, there are so many better options out there. And in reality, girl, that product is not made for skin. This is what drives me crazy when people use products that are not skincare products for their face. I'm like, that is not formulated for your skin. You have no idea if a certain component of that product would overly irritate or damage your skin. In the long run, it's not formulated for your skin. It was not created by dermatologists. It was not created by a lab with your skin in mind. So therefore, there's a huge risk associated with it. But I will say kudos to her for saying, please do not do this. I appreciate that because one thing that drives me crazy is people who spread really, really harmful misinformation about skincare and are like, do this instead. Easy, do it yourself, do it at home. When they're actually like fucking up their face. So I appreciate that. She's simultaneously over cleansing her skin while not properly cleansing her skin because that dish soap is just gonna possibly throw off the hydration factor of the skin. She goes in with the Vaseline jelly, which could potentially clog her pores and then follows up with a moisturizer while still simultaneously trapping in all that makeup deep in her pores. And I know she says like, I've never broken out. It's not a problem.
album. That's super fucking great, but that's not what's gonna happen with the majority of people or the majority of the time. And you don't know the long-term damage from the skincare routine. So yeah, I'm not a fan. She looks like a lovely person. I like her real ass personality. And I like that she said, don't do this at home, but wow, that that made me speechless. I, I was really speechless for a second there because I've, I've never seen anything like that. Oh, these are difficult to watch. Oh my gosh, this is like so cringy for me. Props to my roommate for picking some bad TikToks. So a lot of people ask me, what's my skincare routine? So here it is, stay with me on this. So first I put up my hair, take off my glasses, and let's begin. I love Angels on Bare Skin from Lush. It's made with lavender clay and oats. It smells great. You get a little in your hand, turn it into a paste, and scrub. And then remove. Clean. Now I use a microderm abrasion tool. It has a diamond tip and a vacuum. You turn it on and you exfoliate your face. I'm pink. Then I have a serum bar from Lush and I rub that into my skin. It turns into a liquid moisturizer. Rub it in. And then lastly, I use the Skin Drink Moisturizer from Lush. It's great and it really soaks in. So dot it and then rub that in and you're done. Beautiful. Okay, so she's, she's really cute, first of all. Good eyeliner skills. So first of all, she starts off with a Lush face scrub wash. Um, if you guys don't know my opinion on Lush, I will link the video in the description box below. I'm just not a fan of Lush. Their products are so fragrance, just so much fragrance. And usually when it comes to any skincare product, if it smells really good, that's not a good sign. But the fact that she first goes in with a scrub wash and then follows up with a microdermabrasion tool and is really rough on her skin. If you guys don't know what microdermabrasion is, it's essentially rapidly exfoliating the dead skin cells off of your face, which can be really good, but when you pair it with a facial scrub beforehand, that's risking over exfoliation, which can really damage and irritate and inflame your skin. Not a good thing whatsoever. And then follows up with a serum bar that is really rough on her skin as well. Like, did you see how much she was pulling into tugging on her skin. Again, another Lush product that is highly fragranced and then follows up with a Lush moisturizer. <sighs> There's just too much fragrance. There's too much roughness in this routine. I would say try to opt for at least some fragrance-free products like a fragrance-free moisturizer or a fragrance-free serum. If you're looking for a good hydrating serum, the Q10 Serum by Inky List, absolutely love. Or if you want a good hydrating moisturizer, the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, amazing, really good for hydration without the potentially irritating side effects that you would get. But yeah, I think it's just a little bit too much. I definitely, definitely recommend a double cleanse system and, and maybe don't use a facial scrub and then go in with a microdermabrasion tool, just maybe not. I mean, she's kind of on the right track if you mean a track that is miles away from the actual right track but you know I appreciate the effort but I think there needs to just be a little bit of changes in that routine. Holy shit how many treatments is she going in with? <laughs> Jesus Christ okay sorry Dramatic response, calm down Hiram. So this girl, she is using some good products, but she's just hammering her skin with treatments. Treatments can be really beneficial for the skin because they help to get rid of dead skin or dark spots or clean out the pores. They're great. But if you look at the routine, she first goes in with a physical exfoliant, a scrub, you know, I'm not crazy about scrubs, but not the worst thing in the world. But then afterwards, she goes in with the floss tool. Oh my gosh, the floss tool. You guys can watch my previous TikTok video to get all of my thoughts about the floss tool, but uh, not a fan. And then she goes in with the Aztec Healing Clay Mask. Again, it's it's good for getting things out of the pores, but it's so stripping to the face. It's so drying. And on top of what she already did, just too much already. And then she goes in with, I will admit, one of my favorite skincare products of all time, the Ordinary AHA 30% Exfoliating Mask. This one is a very powerful exfoliating mask that just bulldozes the dead skin cells off the face. And don't get me wrong, I love it, but using it after all of the treatments that she already did is just too much girl and then to go in with another mask after that and then to put ice cubes on the face <laughs> uh, oh my god and then to top it all off to not follow up with a moisturizer i like the research that she does and technically each of these products on their own are not the worst thing in the world but combining them all together at the same time is really risking over exfoliation long-term damage to the skin if you are going to do any of these treatments do them one at a time space them out over the course of a few weeks and you're good to go but all at once girl it's just it's 
Too much. I keep saying too much. I know, I get it. But have you gotten the message yet? What is it? Too much. Whew, okay. That's it. That's all of them. That was definitely more stressful than the last TikTok video. Wow. Um, like I was saying before, nothing against these creators. They are all wonderful people and I do like their filming style. I do, however, think that some of them need to change up some of the products that they're using, some of the strategies that are doing to make sure that they aren't damaging their skin in the long run. But yeah, I think I need to sit down for a while after that one. That was pretty emotionally taxing. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and tag me in your TikTok video so that I can react to them in the next video. I'm super excited for that one. And as always, if you do see anything that makes you freak out, be sure to tag me in it. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.